Hello, hello, hello. Saturday. Well, look a bit white today. Oh, let's try and get this seat up. Look at all my gorgeous green plants. Good, good, good. How is everyone? Who forgot? Oh, hello, I can see Lynn. I'll step back from the camera. I don't want you to get in a, a full um, close up view of my little coupon. <laughs> How is everyone? It's Saturday. I'm so excited. I missed you last week. Um, so energised after attending um, my Uplines team retreat with some of the ladies in my team and my fellow demo sisters and I am just full of fire now for my stamping up. So, hi everyone. Hi Lynn, hi Ali, hi Barbara. I can see Steph, I can see Hazel, hello, and Jackie and Alison. Um, no, it's in sugar. <laughs> that was funny. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Kirsten. Alison and I were comparing snow photos. Alison had four inches and I had a sprinkle of ice and sugar, as she described. Well, you're going to get your hair done today. How nice. I planned it to go in the bath um, and have a nice relaxing bubble bath. Hi, Karen. Mrs. Miss Tilly, I've still got to do your um, little vinyl thing and I'll get it posted to you. Um, Karen didn't miss us last week, I know. And I've got a little coaster here that you gifted me. Honestly, it's just, just buzzing just now. Absolutely. Morning, Stacey. How are you, honey? Hi, Jackie. Who else? Hi, Joe. Lots of ladies on here. Da, 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 da. Who else have I got? Lisa. Hi. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, what's happening with my comments? I can't see them all. Uh, just in for a little while. And we have... Uh, oh, the comments are coming in fast and furious. Hi, Lorraine. How are you doing, Mrs? Sorry, that sounded a bit... Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Um, hi, Jane. And other Jane. Wow, 19 people already. Oh, it's so good. Um, right, okay, so I've just got... Hi, Robin, how are you? Still to do your Happy Meal um, to send to you, honey. It's on my to-do list. Now... This planner is amazing and I want to give a huge thanks to Tammy on my team who has, and all the other ladies, who have, I'm very popular, who has basically given me a boot up the backside for, this is all the stuff I need to do for my Stampin' Up! business. So I've got daily, I've got weekly, I've got monthly, I've got quarterly. I've got certain days of the week, certain days of the month, things to do. So next week, planner, I've already sat here taking stuff off. So it is brilliant, brilliant. Now, um, I am going to do a separate video because I really, really would like to see people join and stamping up this month. Because you can add this into your kit and it's only £21. It's amazing, you get so much in it. But I'll not fathom on, fathom on about that too much. Um... This is all that you get. I mean, the stamp set itself is worth £21. Do you know what I mean? So, yes. Uh, morning, Carol. How are you? Hope everybody's good. Hi, Janice. Lovely lady. Oh, J hi, Gemma. Janice, can you see your... your um, recycled cotton tub? Um, oh, Gemma, I was just showing off the planner. And encouraging people to join Smithy Stampers, a.k.a. Team Smithy, because this is only £21. And the stamp set alone in there is worth it. Jane, how do you get the... Is it just with a star? It's a demo perk. So if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, that is one of our supply items. Um, and it's 18 months that you get in it. 18 months worth. So it's really good, and you get little books and stuff. Um, I will do a little video, though, so come back and have a wee look. Um, Joanna saying, I'm in North Yorkshire, visiting my parents. Oh, nice. Yorkshire. Wow. 
Awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm just really buzzing. Um, oh, Janice, um, <laughs> I did say to one of my colleagues that um, if, if there was ever a class on how to make these, um, so you've got two people waiting for that. <laughs> Um, right, let's see. Who else is here? Oh, 25. Good morning, everybody. Um, right, so I am going to be using... I do look really white today, don't I? Morning, Sheena. Um, I'm going to use the Regency Park DSP. This is something that I made, and it's on my YouTube channel, a little note card holder. Um, at the... My Uplines event, the um, lovely simping by Hannah had done a tutorial on this for us. Morning, Sherida. Um, Jean, um, no pressure. <laughs> yes, no pressure, Janice. Do it, do it, do it. Um, and I thought that was lovely. So I done my own measurements because I like to keep that brain working. So I done a portrait version, but it was inspired by the lovely um, stamping by Hannah. Morning, Jean. So yeah, so that's good. So I'm going to continue using that. This is the Regency Park Suite. So I have some of the papers. And I have the stamp set. I didn't go for this full suite and I'm kicking myself. Um, but there's no point in me ordering it now. Because as a demonstrator, I would, if it retires, then I, I can't really do videos and stuff on it. Janice is still in bed drinking coffee. Oh, you've just remembered me. I've got a mouth full here. Morning, Jean and Karen and Karen. Yay! Oh God, there's 30 people watching. I've missed you all. <laughs> Great sweet though. Right, so, will I flip you round? One more thing to say actually. If you're not a member of the Smithies Crafty Sampling Club, have um request to join. Just search Smithies Creative no, Smithy's Crafty Stamping Club. I'll share a link in this event after. Come and uh, join us. This is the... Um, God. Brain fog. This is a challenge for the month of March. Hi, Denise. Hi, Karen. Uh, this is a challenge for the month of March. Uh, one random um, participant will be picked at the end of the month to receive some... A little gift from me and also this um, prototype card that I had done for the challenge. Um, lots of people have done it already, so thank you so much. There's lots of different um, lots of different versions of it. And, and the, the whole point of this is just to be inspired and see where your design takes you. It doesn't need to be exact. So the theme is um, circles and flowers. Right, I'm going to flip you around. I will apologise for wibbly wobbling you. Um, and then you'll need to give me a little second till I plug my phone in and um, find my live on my other device. Right, so I'm just sharing here, if you can see it, um, my hostess code for uh, this, this um, period up to the 17th of the month is this. ZQSV4VZM and then I'll be doing a new hostess code on the 18th um, because I'm going to be closing off the workshop order for that. Right, let me find the live guys and then I need to mute myself because I don't you don't want to hear two Trishas. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. I don't like my own voice. It sounds different in my ears to it does to the, the how it sounds coming off the phone. It's weird. Um, it's weird, it's weird. Oh, somebody's sending lots of hearts. Lots and lots of hearts. Right, boys are out at football. I have got peace. Um, and yeah, just to remind you guys, a crafty life is the best life. Um, and, I, and I would encourage you to, to join this wonderful community. Right, okay, business stuff out the way. But it's not business. It's all about connections. Connections and friendships and what have you. Right. Is that clear enough for um, the lighting? Because I had to, Robin says I agree, 100% brilliant. This little um, card here I got from my, my upline at the, the retreat. I've actually ordered some of these off of Amazon. 
and I'm going to send them out randomly to my team and things like that. So these are really good. Right, so I haven't practiced this. I wrote this up and did a prototype months ago. So what it's going to be is a little box that holds three pencils. These are motivational ones that say, do it tomorrow. I've had them for about four, five, four years, three years maybe. Not quite four years. It's a, it's a good few years, boss lady. Sorry, not sorry. Um, in fact, I'll show you. These are all the pencils that I've got here that I've been meaning to put into gift and just not had time. The future is female. You are loved. So, yes, I thought I would take today and um, do a little flat um, box for it. So, it's a tuck. Tuck flat box, if that makes sense. So um, just to show you, this is how <laughs> this is how I go about um, designing my three D projects. I'll draw a box, then I'll figure out where to score it. Then I'll do a a graphic because if I'm being honest, my brain fog is getting really terrible. So um, doing this helps me make it at a later date when I've 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 not um, if I've not made it in a while. So you can see A goes to section A for the layers, B goes to B, etc. And it is really, really good. I'm not wanting to say it's a dummy's guide, um, but it probably is because sometimes I, I just forget stuff. You know what I'm like. Um, but yeah, morning Ian. How are you, lovely? So I'm going to try and create this. And I'm going to use the sentimental park. Still have these little fussy cut sections. Okay. Now, this is the remainder of the freebies that I got at my Uplines event. These are just gorgeous. You could cut all these out. or oh, I just love it. I'm going to order more of the papers because they're so beautiful. Right, let me pop that out the way. This will be transferred onto a PDF at some point. So if you're on my mailing list, my MailChimp mail, mailing list, you'll get this first before it goes on the website and what have you. So... Right, let's try this. Now, if I if I make any mistakes, just, just bear with, um, because I will get there. Like I say, I've only done that. I've done that months ago, and I've not done it again. Right, so the box is 7 and 3 eighths by 1 inch by 3 eighths of an inch when made. And what I'd done was I made sure that the pencils would fit in it, like so. So it's going to be a little box like this. Bottom is going to be shut. And this is a tuck flap here. So I am going to use the beautiful Daffodil Delight paper. Now, that doesn't match. And it's kind of making my mind go, oh, we've not got any yellow pencils. But I'm just going to ignore that. Ian's venturing to local Ikea on Saturday. I must be nuts. On a Saturday, you sure are nuts. Oh, wow. Usually if I go out the same, I get a bit of take me at night time. And what a difference. But please don't put any ideas in my head about going to IKEA. Um adverts keep popping up for IKEA and also um stationary stuff for Amazon adverts on my phone all the time. So it's trying to tell me that I'm obviously um spending too much on that stuff. <laughs> Never. Right, okay. So the DSP needs to measure eight and five eighths of an inch. By three inches, so three inches. So you can get a couple of these out your A4 sheet. So three inches by eight and five eighths. Now, if I pop this up a little bit, let me see. I think my lighting's a bit funny. Right. Let's see. Is that a bit better? Do 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 do. Right. I think that's a bit better. Okay, so eight and five eighths. So one, two, three, four, five. Five eighths is in between a half and a quarter, three quarters. Okay, so short side to the top. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. We're going to score it at one inch. Whoa, one inch. Then 
Is that one inch? Did I do one inch there? Yep. Then, or oh, did it move? One inch. Uh, one and three eighths, which is between the quarter and the half. Two and three eighths, which is easy because it is um, an inch wide, this wee box. Two and three quarters. And then it leaves us a little ickle glue section. Now, you can probably make that another couple of um, eighths of an inch wider, but not today. I'm just, I'm trying to do it on as little cardstock as possible. Okay, then we flip, and we've got the long side to the top. We need to um, score it three eighths, three quarters of an inch, and eight and a quarter. Now, when it's small scores such as three eighths, I tend to use this side. It's a little bit easier. Okay, so there's three eighths, and there's three quarters, and then I'm going to turn it around to do the eight and a quarter up this end. Sorry if I'm not um, replying to any of you, seeing any comments, I'm concentrating. There we go. Fab, isn't it? Now, what I think I'll do is I think... I think, I'm trying to think, what colour should I do for the layer? Hmm, I think I'll maybe do shaded spruce. Let me just have a little check. Or I could do baby blue, bammy blue even. Yeah, I think I'll do bammy blue. Hi Karen, how are you? How are you doing, hun? Right, bammy blue. Go to, I've not used that in a while. Where are you, where are you? Blue. So nice spring colours. And as usual, it's good to always keep your um, part pieces in your folder as well. Right, so we need, so let me just get this to show you. We need two B's and two A's. Okay, so A measures seven eighths of an inch. Seven eighths of an inch. 7 eighths of an inch by, so we need two of these, 7 and 3 eighths, 1, 2, 3, if this goes smoothly I will um, give myself a big pat in the back, <laughs> 7 and 3 eighths, okay, so we just want to check, yes that fits perfect on those two panels. So now we need section B, which is a little tiny baby one, like so. Now, um, I am going to use the right hand side, because these need to measure a quarter of an inch by seven and three eighths. So, quarter of an inch, and it's really handy this right hand side bit, quarter of an inch quarter of an inch and again it's by seven and three eighths now if it's a wee bit paper like this um i like to put the blade under and then score up just because it's not as stable as a bigger bit of paper right so seven and three eighths is there one two three yes it is and do the next one seven and three eighths it's teeny weeny Teeny weeny, but it's a good way to use up your scraps. If I go off the screen too much, please let me know because um, sometimes you get that engrossed in making something. Right, okay, last bit is two of C, which is for the bottom of the box and the top of the lid. So, again, this is a little tiny, tiny piece. So, these are a quarter of an inch by seven eighths of an inch. Okay. So I'm going to do seven eighths of an inch. All these bits go back in my folder. Seven eighths of an inch by right a quarter. So these are a little teeny 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 bits. You don't have to do the mat the the layers for this. Um, you could just use the one colour of cardstock, or you can use DSP. But I thought I'll keep the cardstock plain because. Um, I want to show off these little elements. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Dee, dee, dee. Um, oh, you're all still here. That's good. Woohoo! 
So this is the stamp set that I have, the Sentimental Pack. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, thinking of you, let's celebrate. Dear friend, thanks. There's lots here. And perfect for a little thin gift like this because the sentiments, um, they're quite um, short, if you know what I mean. And then these ones, for instance, um, dear friend, you can fussy cut that out and it look nice on the on the front of the box as well. So I'm not using ribbon or anything like that today because I still haven't got a good supply of ribbon yet. That's terrible, Trisha. Terrible. Right, okay, so are we ready? Now I'm going to stick these down first. So I need, need my scissors. Um, I do need to put a new blade on my trimmer. Um, I get about two months out of blade. Um, the last time I changed it was the 5th of November and it's only just started um, kind of not cutting as good and I've already kind of tidied out this little track here because sometimes the the um, paper fibres can affect it so you need to keep that clean so I am going to put a new one in but I'll do that after right so I'm going to glue these down I'm going to Robin says it feels like ages since I've watched you live of your projects. You're so talented. Oh, that's so kind. You know what? I, you know I'm one. I'm, I really struggle with compliments, and I always come back to the fact that it's the um, it's the product. Um, I would recommend though. It is definitely good, good for your brain to kind of have a play and do measurements by yourself. Um, and I've started filing all my projects with PDFs into my folders because I thought, you know, there's some days you, you just don't know what to make um, and why reinvent the wheel if you've already got so much project details um, so yeah uh, Jack's needs to go catch up so nobody's honey, we need to have a wee catch up right, whoops a bit wibbly wobbly that one. Is the lighting okay? Because it looks dull on the phone. Um, oh no it doesn't. You know why it looks dull on my other phone that I'm watching it on? Because I had the screen turned down. What a womble. <laughs> oh silly sausage. Right okay. Now you know sometimes you're sitting crafting and you think where do I cut again? Where's the score lines? That is why these are fab. So, I need to reference this, just so I make sure I'm doing it right. So, um, the bit with the two score lines on the left, that's going to be your little lid. Um, and the bottom bit is going to be um, shut. So, we need our scissors. Ian has several notebooks full of projects, you should really type them up. Yeah, you should, Ian, but I must say, you've got to be in the mood for it. And me, being a touch typist, right, we're going to cut up the four lines, okay, and then we're just going to cut this little bit away here. Um, you want to fold and burnish that as well, obviously. I need to make sure I've glued it right. Um, we are the worst for checking our own work. So... I've had a few embarrassing moments where I've maybe shared something or, or, or referenced it again online and then realised that, oh, oh, I, um, I made a typing mistake. <laughs> but it is good. Um, an organised mind is a calm mind and a motivated mind, that's what I think. I am just absolutely so, so um, passionate just now. Oh, it's just, it's amazing. Right, okay, I'm just going to remove little wedgie bits of these teeny little flaps, little baby flaps, and yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're going to do the top. So you're making something, you get brain fog, you think, oh my goodness, where do I cut? And then you've got your graphic here. So that is the whole point. This helps me. So the reason I've been doing the um, PDFs is to help you guys as well. Because let's face it, life gets in the way and sometimes we can't concentrate. And we all need our crafting sessions, don't we? 
uh, Ian saying, Val saying, I hope you enjoy IKEA. Ian saying, I know what I want and where it is in the warehouse. Oh, do tell what you're getting, what you're getting. <laughs> Please tell. Right, okay, so we are going to cut away this, this flap, like so. I'm going to get my little half an inch circle punch, just to take a little thumb notch out of there. I really want them to bring this back. We have got the one and three quarters and the two inch um, available again, guys, on the online exclusives. Yay! I'm excited to see if any more come back over the next few months. Okay, we're now going to cut the little tuck-in flaps. So you just want to cut roughly just over half off there. And you can see it coming together. So they'll go there, this tucks over and that goes in. Right, so what we need to do is I need to add these little sections on that I forgot about. What a silly bugger. Sheena, Sheena's asking if Leslie's leaning on her keyboard. It's maybe Leslie's dogs or cats. <laughs> maybe they're standing on her phone. <laughs> right, where did that other bit go? Is it this bit? Yes, right, okay. Um, let me see if the couple have tricking sandals. Oh, yeah, because you're doing your, um, back doing your cycling for Maggie's centres, aren't you, honey? Which is a huge, amazing commitment. Oh no, your Ikea is within walking distance. <gasps> Lizzie's making an Ikea box at the same time. I got two um, sage green ones from Ikea. And I thought I would just pop them open. No, they had little screws in them. You had to put a little handle on them. I'm like, oh my goodness. Right, okay, sorry, back to this. Um, so the flap here, we want to, because it's so small, if you use your corner rounder, it's it's going to not shut, right? So I just take a little smidgen off manually, like so. Ta -da. Now, I am going to use wet glue on here because my tearing tape is um, fatter than that. I could use the tearing tape and then trim it down. Um, but this is just as quick. Sorry if I'm going out, out of shot. Right, so, really easy to do. She says, we're going to fold that over, like so. And then this comes over and meets it, like that. Okay, so just make sure that it's marrying up good. Yep, I like that. And of course, I'm getting glue all over the place. It's all sticky on my fingers. Uh, Ian goes online first and gets a product location. No, I've got to drag the husband all the way round. <laughs> right, I'm just going to secure the bottom now. So all you need is a little bit of wet glue. Press and hold, like so. Put your one, two, three pencils in. Oh God, it's quite dramatic. And then we're going to fold and tuck the little lid in. Now that looks plain and boring, so we're going to decorate it now. Right. Ooh. Obviously I'm not going to put, up, put that big thing on, but I do have some smaller bits that I think will be really pretty. I think I'll put a label on as well with a sentiment. This hasn't actually taken that long, folks. It's only half past. Only half past. Um. Right, label. I've got so many labels. I think I will use this one. Now, this one is in the annual catalogue, and look, she is prepared. Label me fancy, £18. Now, um, we've got a new catalogue, annual catalogue coming out soon, and I think that um, the punches are going up in price slightly, so if you want any of these staple kind of punches, want to save a couple of quid, I would um, get them now. Um, Joanna saying, love this idea, it's a great way to use DSP. Oh, it's good, and it's just so relaxing sitting fussy cutting it out. 
Um, the reason I do that is, you know how like you'll get an image that's off the edge? I mean, that's okay. That looks all right if you put that on there. And people would think you've done that deliberate, but we know that we've used that to save it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's just really good. So label me fancy I'm going to use. I might have to trim it down. I do not know yet. So I'm going to use white for this. And I've always got basic white to hand. Denise says, I love a nosy in the crash and dent section. I've not actually um, went and seen that yet because we've got one of them in ours now. This might be a good thing because um, I think the husband <laughs> would go crazy. Oh, see, that's a pretty little label. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out another one. And... Shaded Spruce. Because that is one of the coordinating colours in this suite as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that in half and I'm going to lay it up at the back of the white label. And because I think the white just... It's not popping enough, if you know what I mean. Robin can't wait for the new catalogue. 50th is in April. Oh, wow, my husband's 40th at the end of the month in April. So it'll be an excuse to purchase. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm not ordering any more until April. Right, okay. So, I'm going to stamp thanks on here. What colour do you think I should do it? Should I do it in Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight, Shaded Spruce, or Bami Blue? Not Petal Pink. I've gone right off that for some reason. What do you think, folks? I'll see what you put in. The postage punch was tied and stamped it was. Oops. I used to get from the tide box last week. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I've decided I'm going to keep all my punches from now on. Definitely. I just love them collecting on my desk. You know what I mean? Mango. Brilliant. Let's do that. Right, I've got my little um, prototype back in the little folder. So that'll go to the side. This will stay with it and then I'll type something up. Right, let me go and find... Well, Stacey's saying she needs spruce. Let me see if I can incorporate both. Mango Melody and she needs spruce. Spruce. Did you hear about the dilemma that happened last week? I re-inked my Daffodil Delight one with Mango Melody. <laughs> um, but I managed to fix it. Right. So I'll do the word thanks in Mango Melody. And then I'll do the next sentiment in... Um, what do you call it? She did spruce. Right, where's my stamp set gone? Oh, here it is. Right, so I'm going to do thanks, um, dear friend. I've got the one of these circle punch coming next week. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Um, I do use them a lot in my videos, so I'm glad that they're back. This one, I am going to get a new one. This one is years and years and years old. I actually bought that second hand just, um, just as a joint stamping up or just before a joint stamping up. Um, and it doesn't cut very good. Maybe I should do the tinfoil technique. I'm not sure. Um, but you know what I'm like. I'm just, it's just as easy to buy a new one. <laughs> right, okay. Not that I'm flush or anything. Don't tell my husband that. <laughs> right, let's stamp. Thanks. Oh, lovely. That's lovely. Right, let me get this to clean it now. Yeah, they're brilliant. I remember when you got the... Remember, Ian, when the um, star... Oh, the starburst uh, circle one retired. You got that before it... You snagged it before it um, went. That's quite a good one as well. Right, let's get this back. And the sentiment I want is, um, you are amazing. Okay, so I need a little block. See this, these um, blocks with the, the storage case, brilliant to add to your starter kit if you're joining. Absolutely brilliant. Right, okay, so let's do this. Where's my white cardstock? Oh, where is it? Where is it? 
Um, I don't, I don't have, you know, the, the double, the double oval one. I need to get that. Right, I am going to do... You are amazing, just on basic white. Yep, stamped it straight. I must be having a good day. My hands are doing what they're told. Woohoo! Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I've got an idea for my um, Team Smithy summer gathering. So excited. Need to do some more investigating first. But it was at a lovely wee venue. Because I like to do at least one team event just for my team. Um, and then try and go to two of my Uplines events where I see all my colleagues and stuff. And then I do um, some, quite a lot of, we do quite a lot of virtual get-togethers for the team as well on Zoom and stuff. Um, hi Karen, how are you? Morning Susan, how are you? Your doggy had to go potty. <laughs> Bless. Yeah, um, mine's just stand at the door and stare at me and sometimes bark if you need to go potty. <laughs> right, let's layer this up. So, a little bit of glue. So we're just giving it the tiniest little hint of a border. <gasps> How did I get green on my finger? How did that happen? Right, I'm going to stamp that again because I don't want a green smudge. See that? Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Right. Do it again. Do it again. Um, Valsine, use the tinfoil first. Goose with paper. Brilliant. Thank you. I've never had to kind of... Um, look, that's the same. I'm going to have to stamp them again, guys, because that just doesn't help my happiness. Um, yeah, I will try that. Oh, Karen, bless you, honey. Not good. But I bet you're still smiling, hun. Right, okay, so let's do this again. And these things happen in real life, so um, don't worry if you're having to redo bits. And if anything, it makes the live last longer. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to make that so quickly. Right. Try again. There we go. <gasps> Look at that, it landed in the ink pad. <laughs> oh dear, okay, is this a sign things are starting to go wrong? Don't do this to me. Right, okay, naughty shaded spruce. Let's be having you again. And then I need to check my fingers to make sure that, um, It's not on me. There we go. Okay, not touching anything else. Wipe that off. Put it back. I'll give my hands a little wipe. I really need to get some baby wipes on my desk. I tell you who doesn't mind getting all inky though is our Janice at Jazzle Dazzle Crafts. Anytime I get covered in ink, it makes me think of Janice. So uh, it shows how you have an effect on this lovely lady. <laughs> Uh, always, always close your ink pads straight away, top tip, definitely. And I love that you put that, them in your videos as well, Ian. Because um, you don't want to put your fingers, elbows, thumbs or anything else in it. Um, that's funny. You've got to remind yourself. Right, okay, like, um, attempt two at this. So, some more glue. There she goes with her singing. Right, next bit. You could do it um, the opposite way as well and have the majority of the colour coming out from the sides, if you cut it that way. A little bit of room for manoeuvre there, smashing. Okay, so I'm going to just have a play about and see. Look at this. So I'm going to layer it up. I'm going to put some little flowers. I think I'll put some little flowers. At the back here. No, I think I'll keep them in. I think I'll keep them to the side. I don't even know if I want to use this now. If you're not covered in ink, are you even a stamper? Exactly, Janice. 
hand sanitizer is good. Oh, I think I've got a lemon body shot one somewhere. Right, I'm going to keep this to the side because I'm not sure. What you could do is, um, you could punch a little hole in there, attach that as a little label, or wrap it around the lid. I might do that because I think I might have some twine to hand. Right, where's the flippers from? So this is the Petal Park, um, Regency Park DSP, sorry, in the current mini catalogue. So it's Regency Park Sweet Collection. You can get it all together. Um, you can even add that full thing for your um, starter kit. Because um, you get £130 spend for £99. Um, and this is a DSP here. So, it's gorgeous. It never jump out at me straight away, guys. Um, but see when you see it like this in hand, wow, it's amazing. Right, I'm just going to put this down flush. This one only need a little bit of glue. So I'm just going to line it up with the edge. And it looks like we've done that deliberately, you know, for a clean bottom half and a funky top half. But my aim was to save the paper. For instance, cutting around here, you could use that little graphic somewhere, that little picture. Okay, oh, still 30 watching. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, I'm going to let you see these loose frosted dots from the Hello Irresistible Suite. These complement this really nice, so I'm going to use some of these little gems. I'm going to put them to the side so I don't spill them everywhere. Um... Right, so what else can we do? I am going to, I think I'll pop this up on some little dimensionals. Now I'll go for the minis. You are amazing. And I am going to layer this up in a bit yellow first. I want to give it some more, some more oomph. Always keep hand sanitizer handy. Brilliant, Karen. I'm going to, um, Someone sent me a message and said, Trisha, did you look out your hand sanitizer? Because uh, trust me, after this live, it'll be a way out of my head. Normally I have a pencil to the side to write down things. Write things down even. Gemma saying, you're making me want to craft. I know, I know. Gemma, loving your um, videos on your YouTube. So Gemma's one of my team ladies and it is the Crafty Little Gem on YouTube. Um, we also have... Jackie Ann's Crafty Things, another one of my lovely ladies in the team um, who are putting up weekly videos just now and I've just hit the, the ground running and I'm super, super proud of you guys and they're so talented. So talented. I always, always make sure that I share um, the team, the team ladies' channels and stuff because we all need inspiration and we all need support and there's plenty of it out there for us all. Team Smithy all the way. Oh, bless you. <laughs> bless. Right. Oh, upside down, upside down. Right, I'm just going to pop that there. It's not the straightest cut because I've done it just... Look, look, look. How did that get in my fingers? Right, okay, anyway. Would you believe I've only had two coffees this morning? But I'm just in such a good mood. Right, let's um, tart this up a little bit. I don't know if tarting it up is a nice word, sorry, but... Um, right, okay, a little dimensional. I think I'll bring this down a little bit now. Down to earth. Ah, that's better. <laughs> right, okay. Look, how gorgeous. You could even stamp on here. Some of the little images from the stamp set, like this little thing. <laughs> um, look at this one. All the wonderful things you do. Isn't that gorgeous? This is just lovely. There's The dies that come with it are amazing too, and the dies coordinate with some of the papers too, so um, you could cut some of the bits out. Um, yeah, right. Let me see, have I got any other coloured flowers other than, other, other than pink? I've got little blue ones here. Right, I'm going to pop that under just flush. 
you like how I just kind of took through me winging it with these at the time? <laughs> it's the best way to craft, definitely. I think we can worry too much about getting things perfect and when you do that you end up procrastinating too much and then things just don't get done. So, um, I've already updated on my website this morning, smithscraftedcreations.com. Right, what else do you think this needs? Obviously, it's going to sit like this to take an image, uh, take an image, take a photo. Um, look, if it was a bigger box, that would look nice tucked in like that, wouldn't it? Uh, I will make that into a little label, though. Um, I'm going to put some gems on here just now. So, boom, ba -da -ba boom, whoops. I'm going to use some yellow and some pink. Let me get my take your pick tool. Really love and stamp say that I've looked before inspiring when you see projects using it. Oh definitely Karen it's just see seeing it in, in real life or like on a video or it's so much better than the actual catalogue. That's how sometimes when I'm doing my pre-order or what have you I'll say to myself right that's not something I usually go for but I'm going to get it and then more often than not E by gum, you've got lots of nice little projects um, and lots of ideas for it, so it's really good. Joanna loves this set, the whole suite is gorgeous. Karen's not stopped using it neither, it's just amazing. I mean, it's just awesome. I'm kicking myself that I never bought it. But as a business demo, um, it doesn't make sense for me to spend that. Um, I'm keeping my pennies till next month. Uh, that's the last month of the mini, is April. Um, so anything like this little mini catalogue, uh, you've got to, between now and the end of April, to order out of it. And then there's a wee break, and then we get the new annual catalogue. So if there's anything that grabs your fancy in there, get it now. Right, okay, so. Glue dots are great for this, but. Whoop, pop. Um, these stick really good with wet glue. As you can see, these were just stuck down with wet glue. So it's whatever you've got to hand. You just need to be careful when you're taking it off to take your pick. You need to get those gems. Looks like you get load. Yeah, you do. I think it says... Let me, let me check, actually. It's a few hundred. Let me check. Um, What's that sweet call? Oh, this is the online one, so I can't check in my book. But yeah, get it, Gemma, because it's just gorgeous. Right, we'll put a little teeny little baby yellow one there. Oh, it's gorgeous. There's a month overlap between the mini and the new. Uh, the mini the mini ends in April. Um I wish my thing. I've actually got my time scale because we're getting a breather now. Where is my book? Because we can pre we can pre order um in April um for it going live in May, so there's a month gap, which is good. Um someone's phone's pinging, is it mine? Yeah, many ends in April and then you starts May. Beginning of May. Oh so there's not a gap, is there? There's no overlap now. That's what it is. That's what it is. Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you, guys. Right, let's get these three other wee gems on. Right, so. Oh, that's quite a big gem. That's a big gem. And I think I'll get a little baby one out. Confusing the pre-order. I know. I'm glad they've changed it because it's... Um, as long as it sticks this way because it takes me a long time to... Kind of memorize, mesmerize, memorize dates and things like that. So I'm not a hundred percent in what I tell you at the minute, but it'll come, it'll come. Look at that! Isn't that fab? Now it does need a little, little bit of wink of Stella. Now where is my new wink of Stella? Is what I'm asking myself. Oh, here it is. No, it's not. That's an old one. Hmm. That's not so good. Ah, nightmare, nightmare. Anyway, you can add Wink of Stella onto this. 
Um, the other gems that might be nice is a loose daisy. Oh, good idea. And you know what? I had mine to hand. I have not used my loose daisy ones yet. I just want to say, any time I think of Daisy, I think of seeing um, Driving Miss Daisy. Um, Trisha, where have you put them? <laughs> oh, I really need to tidy this desk and get all my embellishments back in the one place. Um, everything's mixed up. Um, Joanna's in love with this project. Not long until Demo's got to see the new catalogue. Yeah, the 29th of the month. I've got that in my diary. Got it reminder in my team group as well. And um, a little event set up to remind us so that our phones ping. Um, so what I need to do is make sure that I um, keep some pennies from this month's pay so that I can order quick, quick. Because um, last year I was ordering like weeks behind people and I just felt so behind everybody. I want to get them quick. Barbara's saying thank you, Trisha. Oh, no bother. Let me grab some twine because I want to make this into a little label, a little floaty label, twine, 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 now twine will be in, oh I found my little, found my little daisies, there they are, they're on top of my boxes to remember me to put them away, <laughs> so look at these, any sales on? There's always stuff in the clearance rack, Karen, honey. Look at them. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to stick a couple on. What the hang? These are um, loose daisy embellishments. There is 300 in there. Sorry, I need to <coughs> cough. Um, these ones is does it say how many? Is that three? Hang on, glasses on. I think it's C50. The loose dots. I think it says 350. 350 or 360, I really can't read that. I must get my eyes tasty, that is terrible. Jean's given hearts. Oh, brilliant. They've just updated the clearing shack. It's always good. Um, that's not the box I want. I'm wanting twine, don't I? Some of these are retired, but I'm not bothered. I'm going to use this. Maybe I should use this. Now, this is the... Uh, Sports fan baker twine. I don't think I've actually used that. That retired in the last um, mini. Right, let's get all this tidied. So I'm putting my embellishments in the embellishment box as we speak. This is my little embossing box. These are in Ikea. You'd say, also check out the new online exclusives that are in the catalogue. Yes. If you go to smithscraftycreations.stampinup.net shop um one of the first things that comes up is a link to the online exclusives and it's lovely stuff. Um, yeah, looking forward to the last chance sale in the, the mini as well. So we're looking forward to getting dates for, for that. Uh, Joanna's loving the new online exclusives. Me too, and I've made lots and lots and lots of cards. Um, yeah, Ian, these are uh, new little mini storage boxes at Ikea. That's what I was wanting to tell you there. Right, let's do this. Whole punch. Right, let's do this. So, because I was going to stick that down, that now looks yucky. So, let me punch a hole in it. So, this is hard. And I'm going to put a little yellow backing on it and then punch the hole in it as well. Just so it looks nicer. You know what I'm like, just make it up as we go. Ali says she uses these boxes too. They're brilliant. But for some reason, sticky, glowy fingers seem to just mark them. Every single one of them's got glue on it. <laughs> Can't understand why. <laughs> Maybe I should get the baby wipes for my hands. Right, so I've just punched through. It's just a wee cheap thing that you get off, off the internet. A couple of quid. And I am going to... Should I... Should I put a wee hole in there? No. I'm going to wrap it round. <laughs> so let's tuck that in. Right. Obviously when the person opens it, this is just going to fall off. But that's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to tie 
just going to tie a little knot. If I had been clever, I could have punched a hole and made it a little bit um, tidier looking, but it's fine. Right, we're going to add this on here, and I'm just going to tie it in a little bow. Stop enabling me, Trisha. <laughs> oh, and you know what they do? They do like a frosted grey see-through version. Thank goodness my craft room's white and yellow, because um, I was so tempted to get some. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. Oh, one thing I always get when I go is, um, you know, the little foam pads. No, that's a bit big, but that's all right. The little foam pads you get for um, putting on your vases and stuff, so they don't they don't cut your um, scrape your bunkers and things like that. I always get a packet of them. Right, sorry, my bow is absolutely pants, guys. But you get the, the you get the drift. Um, lovely little box little tag it says thanks three pencils in it uh, you can get pencils at the pen shop frosted grey yes yes they definitely are Joanna's saying she's redoing her craft room <laughs> oh my goodness um, so this box um, also does just um, pencils with the rubber on the end so they just fit and nip it as well um, that's how there's a tiny little gap because these ones are slightly smaller but the box work is designed to fit them all if you know what I mean so I need to get them organised this is a little upcycled tin it was a Millicano tin and I just painted it and it just looks lush it looks lush um, Joanna's saying this is fab thank you so much for watching guys um, like I say, if anybody's wanting to shop online, I know a lot of you lovelies are demo friends and demo sisters and brothers. Um, but if any of my customers are looking, um, make sure you pop this in. I will be closing this workshop off on Friday. Is it Friday 17th? And um, yeah, I'll be ordering uh, goodies. Those that ordered in the last workshop order, I still have to do the draw. That's one thing on my list for the customer side. I still have to do a random name picker for somebody to be gifted this um, clinch stamp set that was um, a host set from Celebration. Um, so someone will be gifted that. Because it's nice to give back. It's nice to give back. Um, Janice is saying brilliant. Oh, thank you, Han. Can saying good project. Can want a wee message. Of course, let me make a coffee first, though, darling. Um, thank you. Karen saying, Val saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. So is Lisa and Denise. Oh, Lisa, um, congratulations. I saw you're doing um, mini album classes. I hope they've been going well. I meant to message you and say, go, go, Lisa. Looks amazing. Um, yeah, so that is it. Um, I will eventually put a tutorial up. Um, I will send that out first to those on my crafty stamping, my, not my crafty stamping club list, my MailChimp mailing list. Um, yeah, um, not bad at all. Oh, that's good, Lisa. That's good. That's good. Um, I do have my creative crafting kit coming back. I haven't done one since November. Um, so what that is, is I'll, I'll make up kits. I share a product suite, consumables. Uh, add paper and envelopes sometimes and other little bits and I always do two three projects uh, with the materials supplied so I was thinking um, about typing up a tutorial for this little box that I've done and then this little pencil thing um, so I think these two will be the three project mates what happens is uh, once everybody has their kits um, we'll make these two projects together with the stuff that I give you, obviously um, you need to use your own stamps though because I'm not allowed to put them into kits um, and we'll do it together. So um, depending on how many people purchase um, the kit, I'll need to make sure I've got enough pens pencils to gift you. That's a good way to de stash isn't it? <laughs> so, um, so what I'm going to do is um, I've had to kind of rejig the way that I'm doing it. Because by the time people got their kits, we were into the next month and we were getting confused by the month name. So, May's kit is going to be advertised the first half of April, paid mid-April, ordered mid-April. Kits and everything made up and cut up 
um, and sent out by the 28th. My phone is about to die. Where is my charger? Um, and then the class will take place in the month of May. So I'm doing the background work the month before and then the class takes part in the um, in the next month. A great way for, for an hour. Have a great day. Oh, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Leslie. Hope you have a good day, too. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, look out in April for my Creative Crafting Kit um, graphics and what have you coming up. Um, it's a good way to get a quarter share of a suite such as this without paying the full price and it lets you see all the bitties and then if you like it you can go on and order the full suite we can also um from a crafting kit upgrade to include the bundles and stuff um if you do upgrade to include bundles you do get five pound off the kit price so um but more about that when when i um come to publishing the the, the information on that so so yeah thank you everybody i will see you all later she was saying first visit here. Oh, thank you for coming on. I hope you've had fun. Um, I hope I've inspired you guys to even just go and sit in your craft room, even if you're just tidying your desk or sorting out cardstock or actual crafting, crafting. Um, that is a whole aim. Stacey's had a lovely morning. Thank you for coming along, Stacey. That is lovely. Right, guys, I'm going to go just now. I'm going to go and get a fresh cup of and I'll give you a wee ring. Um, Miss Spicer, and um, I'll see you all again soon. Bye, guys. If I can turn this off, it's a new phone and it's annoying. It's not a new phone, it's an old phone. Can't finish it. <laughs>